Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. It's the last day of 2016 and I just wanted to share this with you before the new year comes in. So while I'm gessoing my diary or my art journal, I thought I'd let you know that the other day I was wondering what the new year would hold for all of us and clearly the universe must have been aligned with me that day because I was looking for something that would represent um, fortune telling and in my diary um, I decided I'd do some collage. So I took out paints and lo and behold the first magazine that I opened had this perfect woman with a mysterious look and a globe that was the top of the perfume bottle that would be absolutely perfect for me to collage into my art journal. So I didn't overthink the background, Um, I just wanted to use the colouring, that sort of mysterious, exotic, rich purples, reds, yellows, sort of to give a little bit of an illusion of fire. By the way, please excuse my voice, I still have a bit of laryngitis, but I'm desperate to get this onto YouTube so that we can all enjoy 2017. So I'm not going to talk too much through the process, other than where is absolutely necessary. Of course, some people think that number 13 is not lucky, I think it is, so I used a stencil that I cut um, denoting luck and stars which would remind me of uh, my fortune teller. And then initially I was going to leave a part of it open um, for the, so that I, I wasn't covering up any paint with the collage, but you know, threw caution to the wind and uh, put the paint in anyway. Then I grabbed two of the jelly prints that I'd made some time ago. I love the rich colours of them, but of course being the blonde that I am, I couldn't work out which one I really wanted. And I knew that I would need something um, to use as a turban uh, over the model. You can see I've cut her out already. But I tossed a coin and um, the purple one won, pardon the pun, the purple one won. (laughs) And I cut it out to make a pocket uh, for the left hand side of my journal. Now I grabbed some washi and usually washi tape isn't very sticky but clearly the stars had something else in mind for me because I really struggled to open the uh, to get the end of that one. I used some normal double-sided tape and taped down three sides of the pocket uh, leaving the top end open. This is just so that it secures really well to my page.
as I said to you, the stars clearly were playing with me uh, because that washi tape actually stuck beautifully and I had no need to add extra glue. However, for the pink washi tape, it was truly true to form. So I added some glue just to be sure. And just to be rather safe than sorry, I added some glue before adhering the turquoise washi tape. And the remnants of washi that were left over are just plonked randomly on the page with uh, not giving too much thought to where I placed them. Now, I'm really speeding up here because I wanted to show you that even if you make a mistake, you can rectify it. I labored so over the turban, but it just wasn't playing fair with me. As you can see, I, um, I started off with uh, one of the jelly plate prints and I cut it out. That didn't sort of do it for me. So I grabbed another one which I jelly plated on a magazine um, page and again cut it out and then just realized that I'd actually should have put, placed her the wrong way round, if you understand, um, to get the right sort of turban. It just, just wasn't working. So eventually I just stuck everything down and I put my journal to the one side uh, to let it dry and then also uh, to get my brain out of my you-know-what. I'm sure you will agree that the stopper of the perfume flask made a perfect crystal ball. Okay, away you go now and let me think about how I'm going to fix this. In the meantime, I found two index cards in my stash and um, they had the right sort of colouring for uh, this piece of work. So I cut them into half to make up my own fortune cards. I considered using fortune cookie strips, but um, that would have rather ha had a more sort of Asian flair. And my fortune teller, as you can clearly see, was not Asian. So I embellished them with some stamps, some stencils, some gold. Um, I did some, some doodling. Uh, and I did most of that off camera. And I only did four of them because I think any more than that would have certainly made my journal um, a little bit too thick and I might not have been able to close it properly.
Now, while I was giving my brain out of my you-know-what, I realized that that turban had to go. So away it went. I removed it, and then I gessoed the item onto my model. Now she was looking more like a fortune teller. Originally, I wanted her to be really dark and mysterious, and I thought I might use purple for her turban. But I think it would have overpowered the whole um, layout or the whole spread. So instead, I used a contrasting color and just a simple acrylic paint um, in the color turquoise um, and then embellished it, as you will see, with a darker turquoise and my white Posca pen. I used a Posca pen to write on the pocket, um, thickening my own handwriting in the Joanne Sharp Thicket style. I'll link to her online classes below if you're interested. Working on the turban was great fun. I pulled out some rhinestones and glued them onto her turban, adding some other embellishments by dotting acrylic paints with an embossing tool um, and also a little bit of stickles on the pocket.
And while the stickles was drying, because it does take a while for it to dry, and I don't um, suggest that you use a heat gun to try and dry it. So while that was drying, I took each of the little cards that I'd made and painted the back of them. Then I added an inspirational quote, which I can read at any time. And of course, the final thing to do was just to add my little fortune cards into the pocket. And my fortune teller would remind me that every day is a blessing and that 2017 is going to be another fantastic year. So thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this and I wish you and yours a very prosperous 2017. Please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up because that will tell me that you really liked what I've done here and it will encourage me to do more. Take care, see you in 2017 or as I might have been saying to everybody else today, see you next year. Bye for now.